Hi, welcome to what I like to call Extreme Metal Drumming 101. Uh, the instructional part of this DVD is based on the request that I received from you, the audience. So we're going to be dealing with uh, some stretching exercises, uh, some foot and uh, hand techniques. We're going to go into some um, endurance and speed building exercises as well. Um, after that, uh, what we're going to do is um, go into some warm-ups that I usually uh, like to do before every show. So it's a warm-up routine that I'll show you. Um, as well as uh, going to uh, grind library, basically uh, the different grinds that I use in the music that I play. So uh, let's get started. All right, let's talk about uh, some uh, foot and hand techniques. We'll start off with the feet. Now, the setup I have right here is pretty similar to the setup I have with my acoustic, uh, acoustic kit. The uh, bass drums are moved forward a little bit, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, you'll notice also my stool is uh, at a certain height where I'm not, my legs aren't completely flat, they're a bit angled. And what's very important is that my leg itself from the knee is not at a 90 degree angle. It's, um, it's moved up forward a little bit. And the reason is, when I do fast double bass and even slower double bass, I don't want to be uh, hitting underneath me because what that does is it sets me off balance. So I move the leg up, uh, sorry, I move the bass drums up a little bit to create this kind of uh, angle that you see with my leg right now. Um, the technique I use when I play slower stuff uh, is a technique where I just lift off the ball of my foot and I come back down, sort of squashing the pedal. If you'll notice though, the ball of my foot doesn't leave the uh, pedal board. This gives me the power that I need and the stability as well. If I use both feet, I'll show you just a little beat doing this. It's a movement that flows really well and gives me the power I need. The technique I use when I play uh, faster uh, double bass and faster single bass uh, is this. I lift off my leg using my tensor muscle up here and put my uh, heel up about an inch off the ground, off the pedal, and I just use the ball of my foot to push the pedal board down, and as it snaps back, I push it down again. It's like bouncing a basketball. Or the same kind of thing that you would do with your, with your wrist, but you're doing it with the ankle. I'll do it slow and exaggerate it for you so you can uh, see how it works. As you can see, I'm not using any leg movement whatsoever. It's the ankle that's doing um, the, whole, the whole job. I use both feet. That's what it looks like and sounds like. It's a very important uh, technique that I've developed in order to make it comfortable uh, and make it easy to go fast for long periods of time. And at the same time, it's a technique that develops the power I need so that the bass drums are heard even at a faster, uh, faster tempo. That's the foot technique that I, uh, that I use and have used for a long time now. All right, the hand technique. Uh, now, this may be a little bit redundant because it's covered in a lot of uh, drumming videos, but it's important to get right uh, from the get-go. So, you have your fulcrum here between your index finger and your thumb, and it's important to get the right balance point of the stick, and that you can mess around with and see what suits you better, but there is a, a place in the stick that you should grab that bounces better than anywhere else in the stick. So, I use my arms, I use my wrists, I use my fingers. When I'm going slower, I'll use more arm and wrist and a little bit of finger. And when I go faster, I'll use less arm or no arm, uh, wrist and fingers, and then it gets to a point where it's basically only fingers. So. 
I, if I'm going slow, I want to hit hard, make an impact. I'm using my arm, my wrist, and a little bit of finger. Just basically bringing the stick into the hand. When I go a little bit faster, the arm moves less, and it's more of wrist and fingers. And as I go even faster, less wrist and more fingers. It's also important to try to get a little bit of space between your index finger and your thumb. And in order to do so, what I recommend is moving your index forward, uh, index finger, sorry, forward uh, on the stick a little bit more. This is the technique with the fingers only that I use the most when I do uh, blast beats, the faster blast beats. When I do uh, regular grind beats, I'll use more of the wrist in combination with a little bit of finger. Same thing with the left hand, of course. And so on. So, you know, when you're going fast, it's mostly fingers. And your wrists and arms will give you uh, the power that's uh, you know, necessary uh, to get that dynamic and get those accents out as well.